cases of ritual killings in Nigeria are rapidly increasing. Despite the fact that the year is new and it is second month, 2022 has already experienced the attic and the anguish that ritual killings are causing. On the 4th of February, four boys were charged with the murder of a 20-year-old female in a suspected ritual killing case. The boys who are aged between 18 and 20 years were arrested on the last Saturday of January for allegedly killing Sofiat Kendi and burning her head for money ritual purposes at Okiare area of Abelkuta, Ogun State. According to reports, the deceased was dating one of the killers. She was lured by her boyfriend, Soliu, to his room where she was overpowered and killed. Uh, it doesn't mean anything. When we, when we meet, he also, let us, I want to use that girl. The guy, the guy is very simple. The guy is very, me, I'm, I'm dating her before. I don't plan. I don't plan. Her. I have saw the post before. Yeah, mm, they call the platform as as Ogun to that you on Facebook and I screenshot them. And I and I show I show her that how we how to use the how mm, the way that we can. And I said ah. This one is simple. Let us use this one. And I say, ah, are you see, are you see us about this thing? I, yes, ah, I see us now. How much do we, how much do we cost us? You should plan, you should, I should, I should, I should help them to contribute money. We want to use them. And I, how much? How much? The money. Not far from that, operatives of the Ogun State Police Command arrested a 43-year-old Kenyde Oladimeji and his wife Adeju Mokeraji, 35 for being in possession of fresh human parts, including breasts and hands. The couple who are residents of number 72, MK Abiola Way, Leme Abelkuta, were arrested by operatives from Kenta Divisional Headquarters after Chief Moshud Ogunwolu, the ballet of Leme community, reported them to the police. I don't a a similar incident happened at Ojaodon, where two suspects were arrested, also in possession of fresh human aid, while the suspects were being interrogated in the station. Some persons went and mobilized a large number of people who invaded the station aggressively, overwhelmed the police personnel on duty, and subsequently hijacked the suspects, beat them to death, and set their corpses ablaze. The festering menace of ritualists no doubt constitutes provocation to communities that bear the brunt of the killer trade, but no provocation is sufficient to justify jungle justice. Jungle justice or mob justice is a form of public extrajudicial killings in Nigeria where an alleged criminal is humiliated, beaten or summarily executed by a crowd of vigilantes. This, the security operatives deeply frowns at. Another set of people were arrested in Ojaudin. Why police were investigating them? Because they were caught with fresh human head. Why police were interrogating them? Some people invaded the station in large number. They overwhelmed the policemen on duty and they hijacked the suspect, beat them, beating them to death and set them ablaze. We want to warn. 
that jungle justice has no place in our constitution. It is not going to be allowed. We are not going to tolerate it. The CP has directed the full-scale investigation into that incident with the view to bring to justice those who had hand in the gruesome murder of those suspects. No matter the offense committed by any suspect, he still remains a suspect. And it is only a court of competent jurisdiction that has the right to impose sanction on anybody who has been convicted, not a group of people or any or, or, or individual. No matter how aggressive we might be, we should try to control our hunger. This jungle justice scene took Saturday's special crew to Ojaodon. Our first port of call was the palace of the Oloja of Ojaodon. For instance, now, the remain of this guy, the guy that they beheaded, we, 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 is, yet to be, is yet to be found. I didn't mean these two guys are still alive now. They will have told us this is where they dropped the body. This is the, the, the people that send them. We've been doing it so, 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 so years or so, 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 so days or months or so. They will have revealed many secrets. But um, we thank God. I can see that is the zeal, the pain, the anguish, and the, the hunger. Because mere looking at the situation, this guy that they beheaded is someone close to the youth. He's an hustler. He doesn't involve in any kind of shady business. Ojao the divisional police station was quiet on our visit as operatives in the station had fortified their security in anticipation of any other ugly incident. Apart from the police who have read the riot act against the jungle justice carried out in Ojao the people of the town are not also in support of the act. One of the uh, my boys sent down to the police station calling that they have started bonding. I said why? Once the security officer have intervened in it, but because of the, uh, the anger the youth are passing through the moment affect them to misbehave, to pass jungle justice in the moment. And along the way I called the youth, I talked with them, I spoke with one of their youths together in general. We actually we don't know who did such, but let us cool our temper. Once the security personnel have intervened in the issue, we need to let the security personnel to perform their duty so to know the real depth of the issue and those people that are still at fault or that may be consigned with the issue to get more and for the safety of our people in Ojaodon Township. By saying this, I condemn it. And I'm advising, um, I'm trying to use this middle of time to advise some youth to please, whenever something like this happens next time, they should come, they should leave it to policemen to carry out their investigation so that we can know those who are behind the scene. Okay, let me... But another jungle justice was averted as residents of Elite Road, Okelantoro area of Abelkuta, descended on a yet to be identified man. On the suspicion that he was a kidnapper. The young man was seen loitering around some pool pills at about 8 p.m. on Tuesday when the residents who suspected him pounced on him and beat him to a pulp. A witness said the mob was about setting him on fire when the police stormed the scene and whisked him away. The law is advocating for fear here that when there is an allegation then you allow the other party to be heard then you also allow a third party, a neutral person, to sit as an arbiter or as a judge between the two of you. Now, extrajudicial um, killings or jungle justice is now saying that, oh, I will not allow those process to be followed. I will not complain to the appropriate authority. I would rather take the law into my hands by dealing with the person, by meeting out the appropriate punishment I consider proper to the person. You know, that in totality is against the law of the land. Even where people jointly commit a crime, they can always be, you know, prosecuted. They can always, you know, be punished for joint, uh, for the crime committed jointly, you know. So that is, the law is always there. So it, there is no specific provision again, oh, this is good justice contrary to this, no. 
the jungle justice itself is an illegal act because you are trying to give justice when you are not the one expected to do justice. Court is there to, you know, do justice. Court is there to found to find anybody accused of any crime, guilty or otherwise. It is always better to wait for the outcome of, you know, of such, you know, prosecution or uh, as it were. Admitted, there is a high rate of kidnapping for ritual purpose, but it only takes law to determine who really is a culprit. The very many ugly scenes are still very fresh on people's mind, but today's world, being a civilized one, should not make anyone succumb to brute instincts, no matter the provocation. Yeah.